Hi, hello, and welcome back to episode 3 of Reigns. Last time around, we got our new high score 43 years in power. We were Harry the Ancient. We got that title from reigning so long, and it was all in all a pretty good run. One king for an entire episode, that's something that I won't be able to achieve all the time, I think. But let's just get straight back into it. James is our king now. He's the fifth king already, and we are in the year 693. We still have to win a duel, lose myself in a dungeon, and talk to the vase. Let's get back into it. I'm not gonna explain the game every time. You probably know what's going on right now. The Estuary of the river drop is a dangerous one for travelers. We should sanitize the whole area. That'll cost us money and increase our population. Sure, let's keep our population pretty high. What about a bit of fencing? I'm a good teacher. Let's bet a bit of money. Oh, so this is gonna be me winning a duel if I do win. So I can either defend or attack. A bit of defense and then a bit of offense and I'm dead. I would like to know how to improve it. Fencing depends on my choices. Attack is bright and explosive while defense is cunning and deceitful. Alright, yeah, I can see that. If I defend, I gain a chance to trigger a special move the following turn. So that's probably what he did and why he was just able to one-shot me. Look at my opponent. I will learn new trusts and tricks that way. Thank you. Thanks for the lesson. The river drop is flooding again. And we need help from the church and the army. Those are two resources that we haven't touched yet, but our population set is pretty high, so we can sacrifice some population. Our jester says that my fortune is expanding. I see new cards, new paths in the field of your lives. Oh, sure. I would like some new cards. Powerful magical force will create new futures for you. All right. Three secrets in this new universe. Uh-huh. The fake luck can help me discover an unexpected ally in the dungeon. Oh, that's nice, because I need to go to the dungeon. The ambitious lizard can bring peace for generations to come. And the fatal party will not end well, but at least you will die creatively. Interesting. But let's try to remember those three things that I've already forgotten, but hopefully I will remember when I see them again. The mountains region near the eastern border is unlawful and unruly. What are the options? What can we do about this? So just to cover that reason and make him pay for the privilege, that will earn us some money and we can use some money, so sure. He accepts and it is great honor. Be strong or be fair. Well, we need some military, but we also need some population. So let's get some population. The mountainous region is now corrupt as well as unreal, unruly. Let's get him back then if he does things like that. Oh, so now he's trying to destroy our army, huh? Sure. All right. A very small treasure. Well, treasure is treasure and we still have Sir just on our side. Or well, I hope we can trust him again at least. It seems that my army is very poor hygiene. We should spend a bit on this problem. We have enough money and our army stat is pretty low, so that's perfect. A merchant is selling new farming tools. We should copy his wares. Sure. The war is long and painful. Call for a ceasefire. Yes, please. A group of people have become enraged and are now hunting witches. Wow. Oh. We can have another block party song as a reference, huh? Are we allowed to kill if necessary? Our military needs to get stronger, so yeah, sure. Apparently this derangement was caused by rye again. Rye grain poisoning. Should we burn our stocks? Yes. With your stock depleted, there's a reasonable chance your people will starve in the following years. <laughs> uh oh. Explosion in the mine, should we continue to dig? Uh, yeah, we need the money. And our people are gonna die anyway, apparently. The merchant's guild is selling goods traditionally produced by the abbey. Put an end to this. Uh, we can lose some money. Yeah, sure. I can't stop the trade. Please reconsider even if it means paying a new tax. Okay, give me my money back a bit then. My people are starving. Yeah, well, that's what I was expecting. Uh, we need our population set to go up, but we need money desperately now. Should we build embassies in neighboring countries? It may be a good way to prevent wars. We can't afford that right now. The river drop is dry again. We should build a dam. We can't afford that right now. The duke decided to re-establish the feudal right, allowing a lord to bet a woman during her wedding night. Let him do as he wants. That shall not pass. Let him do as he wants. I thought that would increase our population. Not sure why though, it doesn't make that much sense. But yeah, a bit of a shorter reign this time around. And this episode is definitely going to be not just one king. King James, 16 years I think. Not not a bad run, but not the best run either. And we're back with Harry. Let's just keep on going, I guess, for now. The goldsmiths of the capital created the cartel to organize their trade. They want your approval. 
Yes, they can have my approval. Long live the king, I will pray for the prosperity of your majesty. Thank you, that's very kind of you. What side of the road should the carriages go? Left or right? Hmm. Should the carriage carriages go left or right? In real life, cars drive on the right, or at least where I live. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna go for right. Yeah, I think that seems like the best option. Nothing is happening this year. The army is bored to death. Uh, I would like you to go exercise, actually. I'm not gonna just give you red wine. We need to stay sharp in our military, right? King of the West is visiting us. Delightful. We should organize a grand dinner. Good idea. It's a terrible idea. The king will prefer to go hunting. Good idea. No, sire. Diplomacy and good taste dictates the dinner. Let's do both. That's what I was so... Alright, so four years in power, not that good of a run, uh, let's keep on going. <laughs> no idea what happened there, we just instantly died. But create a museum of science to collect all living creatures. Yes, I would like a museum of science. Mines are full of gold. We are rich. No, not just for me, come on. The strange things our doctor created last week while messing around with alchemy and dark arts. Strange things, huh? Is it a demogorgon? Uh, brilliant. Oh, so here we go. He created a vase. Brilliant. What? This is buggy or is this supposed to be this big? Uh, brilliant. How dare you? Not you, the doctor. He's a liar. He found me in Lamascus. He di didn't create me. I think this is a bug, but I'm not sure. What are you? A question so vast it verges on nonsense. Come back with the frozen blood and I may... Yeah, I literally can't read this. So, uh, brilliant. Find an answer. Cereals are very cheap these days, Boone is telling us. I should adjust the price of bread. Raise it slightly, of course. I would like some more money. Oh, here is Piao again. Boone and Piao, the squad from the first episode. He brings us a mes message. Yeah, there we have that kind of word again. That says, a village in the south is encouraging polygamy. Uh, well, what's wrong with polygamy? <laughs> Could we dismember... I'm not gonna... Well, lose tongue, please. This clown broke down a trebuchet. No, he's my jester. We need some entertainment. Oh, here he is. The vase again. This looks really creepy. If you could change your previous decision, what should do it? No. 20th birthday, my lord. We should celebrate. Uh, yeah, sure, sure. I can deplete some of my money for all the other stats. Islanders are menacing us. We should attack them before they attack us. We don't really have that big of a military stat, so I'm not gonna use that. Uh, our army... Well, our army is strong all of a sudden. I guess I misread my four pillars of my kingdom there. We're winning the war. Shall we force a peace treaty? Uh, yes, because we need money. The Eastern Baronies are attacking. We'll only prevail by enlisting the population. I think that's fine, but we should make sure that our military doesn't get out of control. The miners are refusing to dig. They want to raise. Where do they want to be raised to? Above ground? Well, there's not going to be any minerals there. <laughs> Oh, my commentary is really on fire today, huh? Damn. We want to build a new marketplace. It will open our economy, economy to foreign trade. Of course, yes. A group of villagers pretend... Pre a group of villagers pretend they're assaulted by celestial beings. It's probably a trick to pay less tax. Yes, get rid of those villagers. A crisis in my church. We need to reform our religion. Not so fast, because our religion is going to get out of hand otherwise. Who gave that answer? The king or the man? Man gave that answer. I didn't, didn't want to increase my military stat. My soldiers are building some priests and their congregation, I think that's like a, a small society, their company, I think, into paying money for their protection, make them stop. Yes, because our military stat needs to be depleted. It's a lie, we're only asking for the money they have to pay to the crown, you are too lax with them. Alright, that's good again, because this was getting high as well, but still our military needs to get depleted. A fine company of my drunken soldiers ransacked the abbey, we want justice, yes. That's better, that's better. Now to increase our population and money a bit and we will be fine. There are too many people to execute, I need help from the army. Well, that's perfect. The Queen of the South is offering you 40 books, we should build a library. I don't have that many resources right now, but a library can be bad. I said yes to the science thing earlier too. I think a bit of progression in that field, in the technical field and stuff, will do our kingdom quite nicely. We're Edward the Mage because we talked to the vase and we have been 20 years in power already. Very interesting. Here we are again with the plague and the ship that has been quarantined. Uh, we can't afford to quarantine the whole port. Oh, that's awesome. Let's do business again because we need some more money right now. Oh, so now there's also a cholera outbreak in the capital. Oh, treat the population. We can still afford that for now. 
The people of the Western village are afraid of goblins. Who should take care of this? The you or the church? I think it's gonna be you. The south is asking for help in their conflict with the west. Should we send our army as neutral observers? Yeah, yeah, sure. Boone says that we should spend some money to build a communal barn to prevent famine. Well, that's fine because we... Um, we had starvation last time around. This will have effect every year. The barn was expensive, but it's good protection to avoid famine and the people's unrest. So what I suspect that does is I think that when our people's stat will deplete this time around, I think and the people's unrest. So maybe when it gets too low or too high and we would normally die, it might reset to the middle or something. The church would like to raise a new ta tax shared with the crown, of course. Uh, yeah, we can definitely use that. That's perfect. Our soldiers were overzealous, now we're both at war with the south and the west. Well, I did kinda see that coming. Uh, nice. <laughs> nice. Woodcutting levels? 69? Nice. <laughs> the eastern baronies are regrouping under the banner of a terrible warlord. Send the army... No, I, uh, we need to keep this little army that we have left in our kingdom to protect us. The wolves are eating our children. The hunt went successful last time, let's try that again. <clears throat> Let me rest, is probably just gonna... Kill me? Get it? I don't know. What is this gonna do? Yeah, it just killed me. Well, we died, but we didn't die in a bad way. Like, we died quite peacefully, and I didn't think we pissed anyone off too much in our kingdom right there. So, that was a decent run. 28 years in power, we discovered the vase. We still have this artifact, it seems like. I wonder if it carries over to the next life. It probably won't. But Edward the Mage has died also. We're back with Harry. I think that's like our, our third Harry, no? That was Harry 2 and this was Harry 2, right? Yeah, so this is our third Harry already. The first Harry is the one we got our high score with. So who knows? Maybe Harry is a good name for a king. We still have some tasks left. We have to start the crusade, but that's something we're going to try to do in the next episode. Nice short and sweet one. I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope to see you in the next episode I just talked about. And bye-bye. Uh,